Good afternoon, Ms. Mahalelo. Good afternoon, Chief Justice and the Commissioners. Are you well? I'm well, thank you. Um, for how many years were you a prosecutor? Chief Justice, I was a prosecutor for three years. And for how many did you serve as a magistrate? I served as a magistrate in the district court for 11 years. And regional? 14 years. And in all, for how many months did you act in a high court? I have acted in the high court for 16 months. And uh, you are ready? I am ready, CJ. Thank you. Judge President? Thank, thank you, CJ. Uh, Ms. Mahalelo, good afternoon. Good afternoon, JPM Lambo. You have a spreadsheet that tells me you've acted for 67 weeks. Yes, JPM Lambo. Right. And uh, you've done quite a lot. I see you've chalked about 15 weeks in the appeals. Yes. And uh, eight weeks in, uh, in the opposed motion. Yes. Have you done work in Pretoria? I have done work in Pretoria. Uh, how did you find it compared to Johannesburg? Well, I can say to JPM Lumber and the Commission that um, I found Pretoria uh, to be a little bit relaxed than Jobek. However, I have learned a lot in Pretoria. Not that I'm saying I didn't learn in Jobek. But the environment is very conducive for one to learn more. But am I also correct that the load is actually a lot more in Pretoria than in Johannesburg? Well, so that was not your experience. Um, I, I, I found the load in Johannesburg to be more. I see. You've done quite a number of stints in the criminal trial courts, you remember? Yes, JP. And you remember the discussion me and you had after your last criminal stint in 2013? I do. Right. And is that what led to you starting to do a lot more work in the civil sections? That is correct, JP. Right. Um, I, th I think, just to be fair to you, in your uh, position as a magistrate, it's only when your court uh, was given jurisdiction to hear civil matters that you started hearing civil matters. Am I correct? That is correct. However, I also had civil matters in the district court. Yes. Now, in terms of your acting stints, um, you've had one week in the opposed motion. No, in the, in the agent court, am I correct? You are correct. Was, was this Jobek or Pretoria? It was Jobek. How did you find it? Well, the agent court, JP, is a daunting court. However, with a thorough preparation and uh, with the lunch seminars that you have introduced in Jobek. I found them to be very helpful. And um, once one has prepared, has read the files, and once one has considered the rules pertaining to agency, uh, one is able to manage the agent court. OK. Um, and uh, based on this amount of acting you've done, you feel you are ready to, to be appointed? I feel I am ready, yeah. J.P. Mlambo. Did you at any stage during your acting stints in the matters that you've handled uh, dealt with anything constitutional? Well, J.P., I have not. However, I believe that the Constitution is the supreme uh, law of the land. Yes. Every judicial officer who sits on the bench um, applies the Constitution every day. Okay. Thank you, Ms. Mahalera. Thank you, CJ. Thank you, Judge President. Pre uh, MEC, as I uh, almost said Premier, uh, <laughs> I know that could, not, that could be dangerous. It is, it is. And, and career limiting as well. Uh, but very profound prediction, of course. <laughs>
No further questions from my side, <laughs> CJ. Thank you. Uh, thank you, MC. Commissioner Nyambi. Thank you, CJ. Uh, afternoon. Good afternoon, Commissioner Nyambe. If you can take us through and share with us your understanding of judicial accountability. Judicial accountability it talks to the fact that judges are accountable to the Constitution and to the public through their judgments. They are expected to give well-reasoned judgments which adheres to the values enshrined in the Constitution. What do you regard as your weakness? Commissioner Nyambe, I get irritated if the work is not done the way that I would love it to be done. Thank you, CJ. Thank you, Commissioner Nyambi. Uh, Commissioner Msomi. Thanks, CJ. There's an organization, um, ma'am, that says it doesn't support you. I think it's called the NBCSA uh, because you have many reserved judgments. Is that true? Do you have a lot of reserved judgments? I do not have any reserved judgments. So that comment is? It is defective. It's defective. Ma'am, Mlambo JP asked you about your involvement in constitutional matters. Um, I just want to, to look in recent times and tell us about the recent constitutional court decision that you like, that you regard as groundbreaking and outstanding, and how does that judgment, in as far as you are concerned, enhances jurisprudential development in our country? The latest constitutional court decision which I regard as groundbreaking is the matter that dealt with the fact that the landowner or the person who has just bought property is not expected to pay for rates and taxes which were owing by the previous owner. As far as I'm concerned, that has been something that has been an issue for some time. And it has at least resolved the issue around that topic. Thank you. When you appeared before us in April, there was an issue about the handbag, if I'm not mistaken, at the sunglasses. Has that issue been resolved somehow? When you look back on that issue, are there any lessons that were learned? That's my last question, CJ. Thank you. The issue has been resolved. How was it resolved, ma'am? Subsequent to the interview, I requested JP Mulambo to intervene so that the matter should be resolved. And I believe he did. Uh, Commissioner Malema. Thank you, CJ. Uh, I just want to ask you very few simple questions. Are you a gender activist or a feminist? I am none of the two. How do you, what's your view about 50-50 in the judicial representation? Well, I am of the view that there has to be 50-50 representation in the judiciary. Why? That will give gender and gender representation, instill confidence and trust in the judiciary. What should happen to judges who don't speak indigenous languages? 
they should do something about that. They should try, start to try to learn those languages because it is very important that all the languages be given uh, equal standing. Will it be offensive for the Chief Justice or the Justice Department to start introducing subjects to that effect? It will not be offensive at all. What's your take on the judges being involved in community um, issues? Well, I for one, as you can see on my questionnaire and my CV, I am I have been involved in community outreach programs, educating and enlightening members of the community about their human rights. I, my view is that I know that judges speak through their judgments, but it is not always the case. It is not everybody who reads the judgments. Now, if I want to put a voice across and people do not read judgments, I believe that it is better to get engaged with the community and put that voice across. So would it not be wrong for the Muleji Tribal Authority to invite a judge to come and sit during their horror to listen to how they deal with issues and thereafter engage in some sort of a, a workshop on how they can deal with those issues much better and including uh, giving everybody a fair hearing. That will be absolutely wrong. How is it wrong? A judge getting involved in issues to that extent and even discussing as to how best whatever issues can be resolved. That is not correct because such a matter may appear before him or her at a later stage. No, no, not on a specific issue. Uh, you just sit observing, you don't comment nothing. You're observing and looking at how they handle issues. And then once they are done, on a separate day, you organize with them and train them on how best they can improve on handling issues which will result in giving the villagers a fair hearing and treatment. As long as it is issues which you are not going to be called upon to adjudicate at a later stage, I do not see anything wrong with that. Can judges comment on the current political, social, economic issues like land, which is in the hands of the, those who colonized us, uh, such as uh, the transformation of the economy, such as uh, the abuse of women and all that, and how best society can handle those issues. Is it acceptable for judges to uh, you know, give such lectures or comment about such issues, even when they are not before them? In my view, I am going to answer this question in this fashion. As long as such issues are not going to be adjudicated by this judge at a later stage, there is nothing wrong in a judge getting involved. As long as you are not going to be called upon to adjudicate on a specific issue relating to what you said at a later stage. It's a debate of land, for instance, in this country. And uh, the Chief Justice makes comments about it in one of the lectures. And later on, the matter is taken to the High Court, I mean, not the, to the Constitutional Court. Because Chief Justice made general comments about it, not a specific case, general comments on how we can speed up the issue, how it can be resolved calmly without any violence and rowdiness. And then later on, there is a specific issue with facts which are unrelated to what he was talking about. Will we be in a better position to ask him to recuse himself since you said, as long as such matters will never come before you, 
you can talk about them. But you cannot predict the future. You are a judge. You are asked to come and give a lecture. And then you speak to those issues. Later on, they will come to you. Uh, uh, it's not like you're commenting on a specific issue. You're, you're making a contribution in a national discourse. So how do you reconcile uh, the two? With the scenario that Commissioner Malema has just given, I do not see anything wrong in that. Thank you, CJ. Thank you, Commissioner. Um, you are excused, ma'am. Oh, Commissioner Fori. Fori, um, Chief Justice, it's probably mainly a follow-up. We spent a lot of time, as you are aware, during your interview in April regarding the so-called handbag incident. On a question, you said that it's been resolved, and when you were asked how it was resolved, you said after the last interview you spoke to the JP, and you believe that it was resolved. Uh, I need more clarity on that. Um, what happened after the last interview? And was it resolved? And how was it resolved? And do you believe that it was resolved? Or was it actually resolved? I think you owe this commission an explanation as far as that is concerned. Because that last time was certainly quite an elephant in the room. Commissioner Forres, subsequent to the last interview, I requested the JP to intervene and resolve the matter as best as he could. Thereafter, I inquired from the JP twice as to what he has done about the matter. He assured me that the matter has been resolved. Thereafter, I met Mr. Rachitanga. We greeted one another warmly. I did not get any impression that there was still an issue. I was satisfied that the matter has been resolved. Sorry, uh, I don't want to belabor the issue, but the issue last time was that he alleged that you accused him of theft. Yes. Um, has he withdrawn that uh, accusation? Um, uh, what has happened? I, I find it difficult to understand the reference to the fact that it's been resolved unless I know exactly what has been resolved. Well, as far as I'm concerned, the matter has been resolved. I am not aware if he withdrew or the, the, the comment. But as far as I know, it has been resolved. So, Chief Justice, in the interest of time, I won't take that further, but I, I must place on record that, to me, it's not a satisfactory answer. I, I, I need to have details of, of what resolving means. Uh, is there a follow-up, Commissioner Malema? Yes, 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 yes. No, no, we, we, we can't leave it like that because during our deliberations, it's going to be a big issue, and you will not be here. Yes. So you, you have a responsibility to help us so that we can help you, um, because we must appoint you, but we must be satisfied that issues are dealt with properly. And you will know that you are applying for a position of responsibility with a judge. And for sure, you know better than me what resolve means. So you ought to outline what does resolve mean. Um, uh, you can't say we met, greeted, and then that's it. Has he withdrawn? If it has not been brought to your attention that he has withdrawn, that's fine. I, have you had some interactions with him where he says, well, 
uh, um, I've accepted the explanation or whatever happened, and uh, let's leave everything behind us and let's move forward. If there is no withdrawal, if there is no such an interaction, you will agree with me that the matter is still hanging uh, because there is nothing that we can say or produce which suggests that indeed this matter, it is buried. So that even when we appoint you, we must appoint you knowing that there is this hanging matter, it might still come back to us. How do we deal with it? Commissioner Malemo, the issue that was debated in the last interview was a matter of he said, she said. That is the reason why I requested JP Mlambo to intervene and resolve the matter. As I interacted with the JP and spoke to him about this matter, he indicated to me that he had called Mr. Rashitanga to his office and sat down with him and resolved the issue. He wanted to know from Mr. Rachitanga what prompted him to write such a comment. I engaged with the JP on more than two occasions, wanting to know how he has resolved the matter and if he has resolved the matter. He assured me that the matter has been resolved. Commissioner Nochesi. It's only one question. Um, <clears throat> sorry, um, now that you are in these interviews today, is there any complaint from Mr. Rachitanga that has been forwarded? There is none. And if he knew that you are an applicant here and he insists with that uh, complaint, surely he would have filed. He mm. is absolutely aware that I will be attending these interviews. Thank you, Chief Justice. Thank you, Mbofu. Thank you, Chief Justice. Also, just a, a follow-up. I, I know, Chief Justice, that uh, the, the person we are interviewing is the candidate, but I, I would make a request that maybe at this point the, the JP can also assist us. In other words, even if it's just at the level of agreeing or not agreeing that the matter is resolved, we can deal with the detail in the, during the deliberations. Okay. JP, has the matter been resolved? Yes or no? That's the request. It has been resolved, CJ. It has been? Yes. Thank you, Ms. Mahalelo. You're excused. Thank you, CJ. Thank you, Chief Justice and the Commissioners. But you look like a judge, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Malemo. 